Running and basic training, right? Most people's nightmare. We're going to be talking about how much running you actually do at basic training and some little tips and tricks on how to improve your running for before you ship out to basic training. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video. And like I just said, we're gonna be talking about running in basic training, specifically how much of it do you do and how to get better at it before you even ship out to basic and things you can do at basic to improve on running. But before that, if you guys are new here, I'm Ben Allen. I did four years active duty in the army as a 68 whiskey, got out as a sergeant and then did the reserves for about a year and a half. So I have the active duty knowledge and the reserve knowledge. So if you have any questions regarding the two, hit me up on my Instagram at the Ben Allen. It's the best possible place to reach me, or you can click the link in my description box. That'll take you to my Discord. It's the Ben Allen community. You can ask all like 160 people in there questions. You know, maybe you're shipping out to the same place. It's a real good place to get in contact with people that can help answer your questions and you can make a new friend out of it. Who knows? Uh, but be sure to like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience. And most importantly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because I'm trying to hit a million subscribers in the next year. Uh, we're gonna do it guys, that's my goal. It's, it's said it's gonna happen without a doubt, but I need your all's help to do it. So thank you. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the topic. So running and basic training, right? I get asked all the time like, hey, how much running do we do in basic? Is it a lot? Like, is it long distance? Is it sprints? Like, I have no idea. I'm scared, I'm nervous. I'm not the best runner, right? Uh, so if I'm being honest, you're gonna do quite a bit of running in basic, guys. Uh, it's not gonna be like every single day, right? To the extent of a full on running workout, but you can expect to be running most places uh, during basic training, right? If they see you walking, they're probably gonna tell you to pick up the pace, uh, to get there faster, move with the purpose, all that stuff, right? So in general, you'll be running from location to location for the most part, right? And or marching, but uh, if you're like at a training site, you'll probably be running to station, things like that right now in terms of PT right um, you know physical training uh, you wake up at like 5 5 30 you're doing formation you're doing the stretches all that stuff like what are the specific running workouts you're gonna be doing so I'm gonna be talking about the running workouts we did while I was at basic right uh, and we did we did a variety guys like it was split up right each day was different you know maybe Monday was like a, a total body workout day so that was like we were doing push-ups, sit-ups, you know, pull-ups, things like that. Things that could improve our PT test at the time. Uh, and then maybe Tuesday, we did a long distance run, right? <clears throat> long distance being uh, for basic, you know, anywhere from like four to five miles maybe, uh, could be even more. Uh, and then Wednesday, maybe it was like a circuit type thing uh, or just getting familiarized with the other drills in the PT warm-ups and things like that. Uh, Thursday, maybe it was an ability group run. So what ability group runs mean, AGR, uh, is they break you up into different groups based off of like your runtime, right? So you have alpha group, bravo group, uh, Charlie group, delta group, right? A, B, C, D, and so on, depending on however many they have. If you're an alpha group, chances are you're a pretty fast motherfucker, right? Uh, so you're gonna be huffing and puffing, right? Uh, like going at it, you're already fit kind of. Bravo group, you know, you're not the, you're not super, super great runner, but you're not the worst, right? Charlie group, you know, you're, you're getting lower and lower down the totem, right? So you're, the, more, the lower your group, the lower, the, more, the worse you probably suck at uh, running, right? But it's okay because what I recommend you do for the ability group runs is try to go one group higher than what you're in. If they put you in breed group, Try to run with a group, try to keep up with them. That's what I did. Uh, it was definitely pretty hard to do, but it paid off because we did get better eventually. Uh, same thing, if you're in C group, try and bump up to B group, right? Uh, but if you're slacking back, you know, take the time to reassess, go back to C group, all that stuff, right? Uh, some other running workouts, we did like 6120s or 3060s. Pretty much you sprint for like 30 seconds and you walk or jog for 60 seconds or you sprint for 60 seconds or do a super fast jog for 60 seconds then for 120 seconds, uh, you're either walking, cooling down, right, or, you know, jogging. And then they just keep blowing the whistle for round after round after round until they get tired, right? Uh, chances are they don't really get tired, so they go until the time that PT is allotted up to, and then they finish it, you go back, shower, all that stuff, right? Uh, and then you just have plain sprints, right? Like, they're going to have you do sprints. Maybe they'll find a nice hill or something. Uh, they're going to make you do hill sprints, back and forth, shuttle runs, uh, maybe some, like, tag team uh, running workouts. Who knows? Like, oh, go touch your partner. Like, 
you know, pretty much like some track and field type shit, right? It just depends. The drill sergeants can get crazy with it. You're always gonna have the ones that favor, you know, body weight stuff, like push up sit ups and all that stuff and really hate running. They're not gonna be focused on that. But then you have the drill sergeants that love running. They'll be like, we're going for a run today, guys. Uh, and those are the worst, right? Uh, you might even do battalion runs, company runs, right? Uh, where you get the whole company, the whole battalion, whatever it is, battery, whatever you're part of, right? In basic. Uh, and you guys are just going on a long run around the post. This is like long, long, long. This is like for like morale and esprit de corps and stuff like that. It's like to have a good time. It's supposed to be a celebration. Nobody likes these runs because they're just forced to do it under the guise of, oh, it's for morale, right? It's not going to be hard. But then you have the dudes in the front going fast as shit and then the sergeant major wants to go super fast uh, it's crazy right but there's a variety of different types of running workouts you're going to be doing at basic training right uh, not to mention you have to be training in order to pass your two mile time right on the acft the apft whatever it is you're still doing at basic right but keep that in mind how do you get better how do you get better at running? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was not the best runner ever, right? I think my fastest time to date for my two mile was like a 14, 15. I, that was in basic and I never, I never beat that going forward in my army career, right? Uh, but you know, running's not something I hate, you know, I don't mind doing it. Uh, but I found the thing that made me personally better at running uh, was doing sprints. Uh, sprinting like trying to go as fast as I could right doing the 60 120s or the 30 60s that was a workout that worked for me to help improve my running overall um, and just you know I found the more that I sprinted whether it was at the gym on my off time or whatever like my long distance run improved maybe is because I was like building up my lungs I was able to handle more and so running for longer distances just really became a little easier after doing sprint workouts you know after my lifting workout at the gym or something so any chance you can get to like sprint or just find the time to like you know get a, a little running workout in definitely take the advantage definitely take the time to do so uh, because if you can do that before you even ship out to basic like doing sprints you know going for a jog going for runs chances are it's not gonna be as much of a shock when you get to basic training because I promise you basic training will shock you if you're not the best of runners right if you have done no training whatsoever leading up to basic training the running is gonna suck like a lot it's gonna feel like your lungs are on fire it's gonna feel like it's hard to breathe I'm telling you especially if your basic is at like a different location or something that doesn't have the best terrain or the best uh, um, like the altitude, right? There's so many factors that play into it. So you gotta keep that in mind. You gotta be cognizant of that and you have to be ready uh, for these running workouts, guys. I really hope this video helped, right? Just give you an idea of the type of running workouts you're gonna be doing. Maybe you guys can prepare for them a little better now. Uh, but if you took anything away from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, guys, because we're trying to hit a million here. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever following this video, hit me up on my Instagram at the Ben Allen. I try to get back to everybody's questions on there. And if you wanna join my Discord and become part of the Ben Allen community, the link is in the description. There's people in there that can help answer your questions as well. And I pop in from time to time time but thank you all so much for tuning in i really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one later